hello beautiful people welcome back to elastic videos we're back again we're back again on another video hope you all are doing well hope you're staying safe so this one is about sleep and get inspired sleep and get inspired sleep and get inspired why because so this one i mean in this video i'm also talking to myself because I feel like a lot of times I get a I get enough sleep and sometimes I don't get enough sleep. But to me, sometimes I feel this might be weird, but sometimes I feel like sleep doesn't necessarily mean like sleep off. Sometimes sleep to me is literally when I feel drained, when I feel tired, when I feel restless. I literally just lay there. I lay there, think about things, lay there, pray, lay there, just be there literally. So that's how I think of sleep. It's a form of rest. But of course, like okay, sleep, you know, sleep off. But to me, it's, it can be different. But anyways, yeah, sleep. So sleep and get inspired. So the reason why I'm talking about this topic is because sleep is so beautiful. When you're able to just unwind, relax, get enough sleep, or just, you know, know that whenever you're having a bad day, you can always sleep. That's that's how I feel. That's what I feel like. You can take care of it. And if you feel stressed, if you're not yourself, feel restless, you can always sleep. So I feel like sleep is such a very useful Thing that we should all do more of i mean you all sleep every day let me stop talking like sleep is not something that we do every day we sleep every day right but this is just to remind us that sleep is good and sleep can help you get inspired a lot why because when you sleep you dream when you sleep when you even when you don't sleep when you just lay there you feel things when you just lay there you can think about certain things you can get ideas in your head when you're real, well rested when your whole body mind and soul is well rested you are more likely to get ideas you're more likely to think of good things that you feel like oh wow i can implement this here i can do this here your mind keeps running but not in a stressed way but in a very productive way if that makes sense so yes sleep i get inspired so i just wanted to share some quotes that i found on this website where did i even find it from um sensorcalm.com i'll link it in the description but yes let's get to the quotes so the first one says you um uh, okay no that was that was actually my quotes but i'll tell you guys later and uh, the first one says your future depends on your dreams so go to sleep this one is by Mesut Barazani so for me I like this quote but also you know my future depends on Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is my future okay no 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 I'm just joking but anyways yeah it says your future depends on your dreams so go to sleep so yeah go to sleep when you go to sleep you can dream when you then wake up at a good time you feel energized you feel energetic you can do what you need to do and you can get back see like i said this video is also talking to me let me let me pause this and tell you guys what i do sometimes right usually when i don't sleep i'm usually up doing something like researching or just learning but i find that even in that sense of sleep i'm in a very relaxed state so i feel very well rested sometimes i stay up all night and then i sleep in the morning or i go about doing my other stuff for the day but a lot of times when i go stay up all night it's sometimes i sleep maybe i sleep maybe early and then i wake up in the middle of the night and when i'm awake i'm just like well let's get the gate let's get the day going and i'm out worrying about the house and doing stuff so yes that's me sometimes i just you know yeah so i hope i mean i feel like a lot of people are like that i stay up and then you know i just do random things and sometimes i don't even know why i'm awake but i feel productive because i'm relaxed even if it's to watch something even if it's to laugh even if it's to read something even if it's to research about something i'm just there on my bed like just relaxed doing whatever i need to do or sometimes i put all my electronics away and i just lay there and think about good things or i pray and things like that so yes let's get on to the next quote it says um it says no day is so bad it can't be fixed with a nap this one is by carrie snow which is true which is the truth like which is very true because um i remember when i was in college as well sometimes i'll be feeling so overwhelmed i'll know like okay i can do this assignment later but sometimes i want to do it right then and there and i'll just be feeling overwhelmed and sometimes i'll just say okay i'm going to sleep i don't want to think about anything i'll shut out everything completely going on and i just want to sleep and that's literally what I do. I just stay there and I sleep. And by the time I wake up, even in the middle of the day, I feel so refreshed. I feel so I feel so energetic to do whatever I need to do. And I'm sure you all feel that way too. So yeah, it's interesting. It says no day is so bad it can't be fixed with a nap. The next one is um it says true silence is the rest of the mind and it's to the spirit what sleep is to the body nourishment and refreshment. So of course sleep nourishes and refreshes us. Beautiful. The next one says it, so these are like kind of you know funny cute quotes so that's what says the minute anyone's getting anxious i say you must eat and you must sleep 
they're the two vital elements for a healthy life i like that i like that you know everything is a balance eat sleep be merry <laughs> i'm joking even the bible says that but you know of course everything is a balance you can't sleep all day you can't eat all day everything's a balance in life okay everything's a balance so i enjoy food as well i just enjoy taking my time enjoying trying new things trying different things and yeah everything's a balance it's and don't you know this is another topic for another day but i don't know why i'm i feel like i should talk about this right now for anyone that may be listening to me let's say that you're battling with the, you're having a love and hate relationship with food you don't need to have that kind of relationship with food i feel like just tell yourself i'm going to enjoy food don't deprive yourself of food there's a reason why food is there food is there for us to enjoy so just take it as let me enjoy food when you're full stop eating when you want to eat more keep on eating so tell yourself i'm going to enjoy food and i'm i'm just going to enjoy it and i'm everything's going to be a balance when i want to eat i eat when i don't want to eat i don't eat so i feel like sometimes people that deprive themselves of a food tend to then have you know very um wrong uh, what's it called is it uh, i forgot the medical term or something but very bad relationships with food and it affects them they get depressed so i don't know why i felt led to say that but i just wanted to say that if you're battling with food don't worry everyone's body size is different everyone's weight is different everyone's stature is different that's why we're all so beautiful if you're battling food just know that just enjoy food if you like it eat it if you don't like it don't eat it if you're full just tell yourself that you know don't try to deprive yourself and say oh i'm not going to take ice cream for a year for what or i'm not going to take cake for a year why there's no there's no need for that don't let anyone make you feel like you need to completely cut out any food there's no need for that that's why a lot of european people are very much fit i would say like you know yeah i would say a lot of european people asian people are very much fit because they like to they balance what they eat and they're fine they enjoy they're married they enjoy their food they enjoy their time so i don't know how sleep entered food but let's get back to sleep the next one says sleep is the golden chain that ties health and our bodies together well jesus is the one that ties my life together but i mean yeah so this quote is nice too you know it just it just reminds us that sleep helps us you know rejuvenate health and body mind and so yeah so this was a quick one and yeah the last one i think i said at the beginning but this is mine this is what i wrote in my notes and i would like to share it says you have the choice to shut restlessness or internal tiredness down and just lay there that's literally what i do if you feel restless if you feel tired you have the choice to turn your take your put your phone aside put your laptop aside put everything aside just lay there and that's really that helps me to just get rejuvenated and i just get inspired in so many ways anytime i do that so you have the choice you have the power to shut restlessness or internal tiredness down and just lay there why not so many times in this day and age everything is always so busy everything is back and forth go go hustle and i think i look at thank god for covid for that reason like it helps people to it help it really helps people to calm down and to know that not everything is always go okay go there not everything is always do 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 you don't have to be doing do 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 to be fulfilled you don't have to and that's really what i say you don't have or it's not until you do 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 that you know you're actually working sometimes less is more sometimes relax and then do your work relax be inspired and then work relax be inspired and then produce relax be inspired and then move on you know so that always goes for me in everything i do everything's a balance you cannot kill yourself cannot kill yourself anyways i think that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it let me know your sleep patterns as well in the comments if you feel like you get enough sleep if you feel like you don't get enough sleep what you feel like you feel when you do get enough sleep and how you manage your time during the night when you're up you know because that's a big one for me how do you manage your time when you're up at night because to me i'm i really enjoy my time when i'm up at night but anyways yeah i hope you all enjoyed it don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe don't forget to join the fam and be here again and i'll see you again in the next one god bless you all and i'll see you bye